Hey, what's going on? My Gymnast Care fans out there and friends, thank you guys so much for, for hanging out with us today. This is something new that we're trying out, so if you like this, let me know what you think. I'm just having lunch, and this is my lunch break where I could take a little, little break from seeing patients for the day, and I want to just talk to you guys about you know, our topic this week and what's going on and just some of the thoughts that have been on my mind about about our, our topic. And this week, of course, is protein. How much protein does your young athlete need? And one of the things is that that got this started was I had one of our, our parents from the Sports Performance Academy. That's where we go live each month and we do training. And then I have a coaching section in there. If that's something that you want, for you and your young athlete, just let me know. So one of our, our parents was was asking, hey, Dr. Josh, you know, I'm, we're going to this trainer who's helping us with, with some of the movement for my young athlete. And what he said was, hey, we need to have a ton of protein for your athlete. You know, they're, and this athlete, I think at the time was about 12 years old, and the, the personal trainer said, we really need to up their protein and really bump that up and we need to do some, we need to do some protein powder, we need to do protein bars, you know, really, really up the protein level for our athlete. And so what I, what I said to the parent was, hey, we gotta be really, really careful about how much protein we're giving to our young athlete. If we're giving them a ton of protein, you know, that can be very dangerous for their system, especially for those young kids. So we need to take a look at that and say, hey, how much protein does our athletes really need? And so one of the things that we do in this week's videos, we talk about exactly how much protein. And for a young athlete, it's 0.8 to 1.2 grams per kilogram of body weight. Now you might be like, Dr. Josh, come on, dude. I am not going to calculate my athlete's protein level that way based on every day their, their, their body weight and then converting it to kilograms and all that. And that is completely fair enough. I completely understand that. So we got to make it super easy for us as parents to get the right amount of protein. Now, when we look at for an 80 pound, you know, kid or athlete, they need to get their full requirements of protein for the day. They need a four ounce chicken breast, and one cup of yogurt. That's all they need. Can you imagine that? Like, that's it. They don't need a ton of protein. It's not like they need shakes every day and protein bars and all that to get their requirements. They're getting enough of that just from taking in everyday food. And that's why we talk so much about eating from the roadmap. And that's the roadmap to success. And that's just our plan where we talk about having breakfast, mid-morning snack, lunch, pre-workout snack, during workout snack and dinner, and when we feed our athletes those foods like that, that time of eating, and we make sure we're getting protein, carbs, and fats with each meal, then you see amazing the, the exact amount that they need to be getting the protein. And so for an athlete, right, we're looking at 10 to 30% is how much protein they need by percentage. So their diet is 10 to 30 percent and for an athlete like a gymnast or a soccer player or basketball we're bumping that down to like 10 to 20 percent because they just don't need a ton of protein and so when we look at the other components of the food carbohydrates and fats our carbohydrates are 55 to 65 percent of the total diet and then the fats are going to be 25 to 35 percent of the diet so if we're doing way too much protein that's going to throw everything out of whack and it, they're not gonna get the appropriate amount of, of food by percentage. So what we need to do is we need to really just dial down that roadmap to success, make sure we're getting protein, carbs, and fats with each meal. You know, for maybe for breakfast, you're doing something like steel cut oats with some, with some nuts and some berries in it. That would be a great breakfast. Maybe you're doing a breakfast sandwich, or this morning I had a breakfast burrito. It was amazing with eggs and some potatoes and salsa in there and then I had cherries on the side. So that's something that would be a great breakfast. You're getting those fats and those proteins and carbs all in that. And then mid-morning snack, I actually had a bar. I eat an organic fig bar, and so that would be a great like mid-morning snack. And then lunch today, I'm having, I'm having a sandwich. I got it right here, about to break it out and eat it. So that is a great way to get your, 
to get all those things, the protein, carbs, and fats, and then pre-workout snack, of course, I always do a half of peanut butter and banana sandwich on Dave's Killer Bread. My mid-workout snack, I'm doing fruit, and dinner, we're working on superfoods. So if you do something like that throughout the day, you're gonna get exactly the protein that you need. You don't need to really just go crazy on the protein powder. So I hope that helps. Look, if you're, if you're thinking about, hey, I really need up protein, think about how much your athlete really needs, right? So I hope you guys like this. Just a quick session at lunch, and we're gonna be doing more of these. So I hope you join us back here during our lunch live session with Gymnast Care. And if you have questions, make sure you leave them for me or shoot me a message over at doc at gymnastcare.com. Or, you know, if you're interested in joining our Sports Performance Academy, you can send me a message there too, and we'll make sure you get us set up with that. So thanks for joining us for our lunchtime little chat here. Can't wait to see you next time right here at gymnastcare.com. Have an amazing day. Keep doing amazing stuff. You guys are, are great, and you guys are working hard to make sure your athletes get exactly what they need. We'll see you next time.